is Francesca for Ear Candy and I'm here with the band The Residents. Hi. So can you guys introduce you guys to everybody? I'm John. I'm the singer. And I'm Jeremy. I play the drums. So I hear you guys are the catering band. Can you tell me what that's like? It's uh, very tiring. We get here every morning at 6.30, set up and work with food all day, but we get to meet everyone, which is pretty rad. I've gained about 10 pounds <laughs> since the uh, Pomona date and my shirts are fitting much better, and I'm really loving it. It's a great change of pace for me. That's good, that's good. So I gotta ask, what's the best food here? We had steak, what was it, the other last night? night. La was it last night? We had last steak night. burgers with ma mashed potatoes, broccoli, I think apple pie, and vanilla ice cream. Wow. Yeah, it's... That's good. Smoothie bar is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, actually, you have the manager of the salad bar over here promoted yes. just recently. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That is an honor. I know. Round of applause for you. <laughs> we're, we're very proud of him. Good, good. We have a plaque Black. on our mantle of just his face. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to ask about how that works with the catering band. Can you tell me more about that? Sure. So every summer, Warped Tour takes about four bands out with them. We uh, all have different shifts, we work, and then we're on standby for a chance to play. So if another band can't make it that day, then a band that works for catering is one of them that are like the first on the choice of list to... Well, have you guys played on any dates yet? We actually did an impromptu acoustic show in um, Jacksonville. It was actually, actually, it was Orlando. There was, yeah, there was an uh, evacuation because there was, a, it was thunder, rain, hail, and super high winds, tents were blowing left and right. And um, there were a bunch of kids in the hallway underneath the stadium. And we thought, well, it sucks that they kind of missed some bands, so let's try and bring a show to them. And they, awesome. actually, they were really receptive toward it. We I did think. a bunch of covers. So since no one's not like, that familiar with our music, so we covered like <laughs> Neck Deep and like Paramore and uh, Panic at the Disco. Thank you. And uh, it was a blast, a lot of fun. People sang along with us. That's awesome. Well, what's your favorite song to cover, if you don't mind me asking? Mine would be Neck Deep, uh, Part of Me. Okay. Because everyone likes to shout that. And right. It's, it's a lot of fun. That's a ballad. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do the girl part? Or? I, I do. You do? <laughs> he, he's, my, he's, my, he's my leading lady yeah. on that song. My, my favorite song. <laughs> we got to be safe. <laughs> my my favorite song actually is uh, I write sins not tragedies. Okay. N wait. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah yes. I panic at the right, panic I've at the disco. Of, <laughs> yes, that's the one. Okay. I'm thinking of the other. The lying is that that song. Oh, okay. Yeah. We yeah. don't play that one, but I get those two mixed up in my head all the okay. time. But I mean, yeah. it's fair. I try to sound like Brendan Urie, but I just I'm almost there. <laughs> it's almost there. <laughs> it's almost becoming practice. acceptable. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, did you see his last year AP um, MA's award performance? Yeah. Would you oh. ever try to copy that then? We're in the running this year. Yeah. <laughs> if we get out of the lunchroom in time. Yes. Yeah. We have to wipe down all the tables <laughs> and make sure we stack all the chairs. But okay. if we make it in time, we will be there. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, then I'll be excited to see you guys there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we have a number one fan finally. This is cool. I know. <laughs> Could you guys tell me about any upcoming music that you've released or you have coming out? Yeah, we actually uh, we're working on a brand new EP coming out. I want to say, as we have a plan for uh, late spring, maybe summer next year, but we plan to be recording it September this year, writing process as soon as we're done with Warped. And we have a couple songs actually already written for it that we've been playing live for a good, I want to say almost three or four months now. So it's kind of nice, because we wrote them a little while back, mixed them in with the old set. So it's kind of once we get to the studio, once we lay them down, we have such a nice, like, organic feel for them. So I'm, I'm actually awesome. really excited to just get them finalized. That's awesome. And also, we have our EP, How to Tell Sad Stories, that just came out, mm -hmm. like, two months ago. Okay. And that's for sale all on Warp Tour. We, if you get the chance to get one, that means you have met us, because we are selling it in person to each person. So find us at Warped, and we'll get you a copy of it. All right, awesome. Well, that's so glad to hear. Do you guys are going to tour with the EP then you just released? or? 
We definitely want to. Okay. We just got back. Before Warp Tour, we did a quick run around the West Coast, hitting uh, up and down Northern California and mm-hmm. Vegas and out there and did a couple of shows for that. But we want to keep pushing that as much as we can. Right. Yeah. Well, then who do you is your dream to open up for then? Oh, oh. Well, I'm going to I'm going to take this one. I think, anyone, anyone. I think I can want. speak for both of us when I say uh, uh Mayday Parade. <laughs> Britney Spears. Yeah. I think Christina Aguilera for me I say Pringo, the Queens. You know she is a Pittsburgh pop. native. Is she really? Mhm. Ooh, she right Christina. Now. She's like grew up here, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey boo. It's John, your boy John. Well, I heard you guys did a Britney Spears cover, by the way. Could you talk a little bit about that? Um, yeah, we were on a tour last year, and we wanted, um, it was actually for Warp Tour, a couple dates. We were getting some CDs ready to get out some kids. We were selling, like, bracelets, uh, stickers, buttons, all that cool stuff to go with it. And we needed a third song. And um, we were on my laptop in his apartment one night, and we remembered that, John has a little vocal cover that he did for his YouTube channel a couple of years back. And um, it's, it was, a, if you remember the Versa Emerge Toxic cover, it sounds a lot like that. Okay. But, um, you know, not, you as, not as pretty or as right. clean. <laughs> right. But, hey, I'm sure it was still good. I mean, any Britney Spears is good Britney Spears, so. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you got to keep your head up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll get to Britney's level at some someday. I think I'm like 75% there. There you go. 75%. Maybe I won't say 77. Yeah. yeah I'll say 75. Are you going to hit like the Kevin the Kevin days? Ooh, K-Fed. L- maybe. Yeah. Once it once it 80%, we'll see if K-Fed just slides into my life like slides into your DMs. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> K-Fed just slides into the DMs. Right. Ooh. There the you follow go. back from K-Fed. There you go. Now That's you got to follow him. Give him a shout out, K Fed, and make hey, sure you uh, go hit, hit them out. The resident CA, hit us up on Twitter. Hey, boo. They might need a backup dancer. There you go. Me too, actually. Yeah. I'll backup dance for you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's the strength of this relationship. That hasn't happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, do you have any more information to let know of your fans or future fans? Yeah, if you're going to be at Warped Tour this summer at the rest of the dates, we will be there. Come say hi. We'd love to see you and pick up a copy of How to Tell Sad Stories from us. Or if you don't get the chance of seeing John's beautiful mug, pick it up on iTunes. I want you all to know, all of this is not shaving for three weeks. Wow. Yeah. If you do see us, we want to meet you. So come say hi to us. We're always around. And um, sometimes, if you're working on catering, we'll give you an extra piece of cake. But you didn't hear it from a... Uh, <laughs> mm, but you're saying you'll meet us. We'll meet you. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much, Jeremy and John. It thank was a pleasure. You. Thank, thank you. you thank guys. you. You're welcome. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Francesca for you. Thank you for the blessings. It doesn't look like you.